Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Vinyl Den, your channel for record collecting by record collectors. My name is Nick. Today I'm going to talk about something that uh, I actually did a video on almost two years ago, all about uh, SRC Vinyl and kind of my experience with them. And uh, my surprise that an album that I had on order for almost three years now finally showed up today. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you click on that link down below. Go check out the Vinyl Den Facebook group. It's just a cool place to continue the music conversation. There's also a link for the Vinyl Den merch page where we get to Vinyl Den t-shirts and sweatshirts on there. There's a link for the Vinyl Den Apple Music and Spotify playlists where every week we're just compiling music that we're talking about here on the show and putting it together on a nice playlist for everyone to enjoy. Uh, there's also a link for the Vinyl Den Patreon page. If you want to support the show, it's always greatly appreciated. You can support the show for as little as a dollar a month. And of course, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give me the old thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we release new episodes. So like I said, it was probably, it was almost two years ago. I think it was uh, August of 2020 when I did a video about SRC Vinyl. Uh, to kind of, I'll put a link above if you want to check that out. But uh, to get, kind of give, run down the little story again, back in 2019, I pre-ordered an album from SRC Vinyl. And... You know, it uh, it was just a pre-order. Uh, it was pre-order was supposed to come out, I believe, in December of that year. And finally, the the due date rolls around, and uh, it actually said on the website uh, that my order is processing, and in uh, it was like a pre-shipment stage or something like that. That I said, and then I checked again like a week later after not getting a shipping notification, and it was back ordered. You know, with no other information. And, uh, you know, so over the next like six months or more, I was exchanging emails with our SRC vinyl, trying to find out what was going on with it. And then I think it was after I did the, the video back in 2020 that I decided, you know, what, I'm just going to cancel my order. And that was kind of a whole nother process in and of itself. You know, it took me a while to actually get my money back. Cause uh, I don't know. So I, I know that a lot of places, they don't charge you until the shipment ships. But something I didn't know at that time was if you use PayPal, SRC charges you right away for it. Opposed to if you just use your credit card or your debit card, they don't charge you until it actually ships. So I went round and round with them, finally got my money back. And then it was probably, you know, I kind of written off the album. I, I put it on my Discogs want list where it was selling for, you know, over $100 on there. And I kind of just written, you know, wrote off picking up that, that copy of it. And uh, I actually picked up a different uh, colored version of the same album. So I, uh, like I said, I just kind of forgot all about it. And then probably within, it was probably about two months ago. I, because uh, yeah, I, I completely stopped buying from SRC Vinyl. I bought a couple of things from them previously. Um, you know, didn't exactly have the best experience with a couple of them, but a couple of transactions went, you know, just fine. So a couple months back, after not being on their website for a very long time, I, uh, happened to get on there and noticed that that same order was back up, that that same album was back up for pre-order. And I figured, you know, what the heck, I'm just gonna use my credit card this time. That way, you know, if it never ships, you know, I never get charged, never have to, you know, really worry about it. But, uh. Lo and behold, to my surprise, a couple of days later, I actually got a shipping notification for this thing and it showed up today. So, you know, after a bit, this big, long ordeal of having this thing on pre-order, three years later, I finally got it in my hand. I will say that uh, currently, I believe if it's the same pressing from, I think it was a 2018 pressing is, is what it is when this was, at least uh, that's what's listed on Discogs. So if it is the same pressing... You know, these things are still going for, I think the cheapest one right now on Discogs is 125 bucks. So I think I got a good deal if it is. I mean, the, the packaging looks a little, I don't know if you can tell from the video, but it looks a little beat up. We'll see what, uh, what kind of condition this, uh, this album is in. All right. We'll see what this thing, how this thing looks. You guys know I'm a big Blink-182 fan. I've got a lot of their, I've got all their albums. I've got uh, colored versions and black versions of all their albums. So this is SRC's pressing of Enema of the State. And this should be like a blue color. If I can pull my knife out here. There's no sticker or anything on it. I will say that, um, you know, the edges and everything look good on it. So it, it survived the beat up mailer. There's not, uh, yeah, there's no sticker or anything on this thing. So we'll see. We'll see what it, what it is. Maybe, maybe I lucked out. 
but uh, it's not a gatefold. You know, just a standard gatefold. SRC, yeah. Well, I mean, it's SRC. They do a lot of like exclusive, um, exclusive colored releases and things like that. So I've got all the other SRC Blink One Eight Two releases. So this was the only one I didn't have. So that's why I was really kind of wanting to get that. It actually, looks pretty cool. It's almost like a semi-translucent kind of blue, but uh, it's got a nice splatter, nice swirl to it. So pretty cool. I'm uh, I'm glad to finally have this uh src pressing from uh three years that i've had on, on order well that's all i got for you guys thanks for checking the show out you know nothing uh super long i just kind of want to go over the the album you know the 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 surprise that i had when uh i actually got a shipping notification for this thing but uh drop me a comment down below let me know your guys experience with src vinyl because i know there's a lot of people out there there's a lot of people out there i see on on social media that love src and have bought a lot of stuff from them and uh, a lot of people like me that have had their issues with SRC, but, uh, you know, Hey, maybe, you know, moving forward, I, I think I, uh, I will give them another shot. I'll try to order some more stuff from them and, uh, you know, hopefully I have better experiences than uh, what I've had in the past, but, uh, let me know what you guys think. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give me the old thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below. And that's all I got until next time. Keep on spinning. Peace.